hello libras welcome to my channel my name is sally and this is going to be a love reading for the remaining days of march 2022 this is going to be a collective energies from all those born under the zodiac sign of libra sun moon rising and venus only take what applies to your situation and leave the rest for others if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber welcome holy spirit spirit of truth spirit of light spirit of wisdom i welcome you here for libra their love reading for the remaining days of march 2022 Libra love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Holy Spirit for Libra. Libra love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Holy Spirit for Libra. They are love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Libra love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Holy Spirit for Libra. They are love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Libra. 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 Okay. Libra, at the top of your deck, you have the number 12, which is reduced to number 3. And then we have here the number 7, which is the 7 of Pentacles here. Okay, Libra. I see that someone here is waiting to work on a relationship with you. They are waiting to build with you. Mm hmm. Let's see. We have here the number 25, which is the Ace of Wands. We have the number 19, which is the Six of Sword. We have the number 9, which is the Queen of Sword. And we have the number 35, which is the Nine of Sword. Okay, so one could be age 35, age 19, 25. Hmm. Libra, I see a situation that you have walked away from or you are walking away from. Number 19 is reduced to 8. Some of you could be single right now. You have caught this person out of your life. Hmm. I see that there is something about this relationship that is still bothering you. It's still on your mind. You. Mm hmm see what is in your tarot card holy spirit for libra libra love reading for the remaining days of march 2022 libra love reading for the remaining days of march 2022 Libra. Libra love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Libra. Collective energies, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. They are love reading for the remaining days of March 2022. Holy Spirit for Libra. Libra, you are connecting to someone from your past. Some of you, or majority of you, are connecting to someone from your past. This person could be a water sign person. It doesn't have to be. This person is missing you. They are missing you.
Mm. We have the seven of one. Some of you are having conflict with this person. You could have blocked this person. Mm -hmm. You could have blocked them. They could have blocked you, however the case may be. You're missing them. They are missing you. Mm -hmm. I see. We have the nine of cups. We have the knight of sword. The magician. The four of wands. The King of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Queen of Sword, the Page of Sword, the High Priestess, and the Tower. Someone here is waiting for a relationship to end in order to build a relationship with you, in order to start a relationship with you. So some of you could be connecting to someone that is already married. So there is some kind of waiting going on here. I see that some of you could have to, some of you are already tired of waiting for this situation and you're move, you've moved forward. Mm -hmm. But I see that you're still worrying about this. There is something that is bothering you in regards to this um, relationship. So like I said before, for some of you, you could be waiting for your person to put a relationship to an end or wrap up a situation um in order for the both of you to have the nine of course which is happiness which is a new beginning i see someone here is promising you marriage here libra but i feel like it's taking too long and this is causing some kind of frustration here so it could be connecting to a water sign cancer pisces scorpio libra gemini aquarius and air sign like yourself aries leo sagittarius taurus Virgo, capricorn So someone here is manifesting you. They're manifesting a relationship with you. But I see some kind of a secret relationship going on here. You could be this person's secret for some of you, not all of you. You could be this person's secret. So this person could be promising you marriage, that they are going to marry you. But first they want to um, wrap up whatever they have going on here. I see love in this situation. For some of you, your person is in love with you and you're going to have your wish fulfillment with this person. This person is thinking about that. They are thinking about offering you stability, especially if this person is a water sign. I see you will have the opportunity to work on a relationship here um, with someone. For some of you, this could be a work-related relationship. I see conflict, I see argument here that is causing you to think of walking away or that has caused you to walk away. But I see resolution to that. Mm -hmm. The Queen of Sword came out twice here. Someone here is all up in their head about you and you are all up in your head about them, thinking about the situation. There is some kind of a strong manifestation going on here between you and someone. But I see that there are lessons to be learned from this situation. The question is, are you learning those lessons that need to be learned? I see someone here who try to take charge of the situation, try to take control of this relationship because they don't want it to end. They don't want this love to fade. I see a lot of waiting going on here, Libra. Someone is waiting to walk away here, waiting to leave a relationship, waiting to end a relationship. Let's clarify to get more insights. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Libra? Holy Spirit. We have the Three of Sword. I see hurting going on here. I see healing going on here. This could be on your part or on your person's part. I see. Why is the Knight of Sword here for Libra? Holy Spirit. I see conflict and arguments that is going to cause you to walk away. For some of you, this has already happened. Let's see. We have the Hermit. Someone is thinking about you non-stop and in a way they are manifesting reconciliation with you. Mm-hmm. This is beginning to feel like a missed opportunity to this person. Why for you it's beginning to feel like unrequited love? 
let's see. Why is the four of wands here for Libra, Holy Spirit? Yeah. There is need for balance in this situation. It could be with a Sagittarius, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Virgo. There is need for balance here. Someone here is trying to hold a relationship together. I see this relationship is shaking and someone is trying really hard to hold it together. Why is the King of Cups here? We have the Ten of Cups. Someone's intention is to have the Ten of Cups with you. To have a family with you. A family life with you. A happy relationship with you. Hmm. Some of you will be moving here gradually. From just a relationship to a stable, committed relationship. Why is the Three of Pentacles here for Libra, Holy Spirit? We have the Seven of Pentacles. Someone is tired of waiting. I said there is some kind of waiting going on here. And someone is tired of the waiting game here. Someone is tired of investing emotionally here. Someone is tired of waiting for things to move forward here. I see someone here emotionally exhausted and they are thinking of leaving. Hmm. Feeling left out in the cold here. This person could feel like they are putting too much work into this relationship. Libra, this could be your energy or your person's energy. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Libra, Holy Spirit? The Five of Swords, someone is beginning to feel very frustrated here. Feel the energy of frustration and anger, feeling defeated here in this situation. Hmm. Someone here is not saying everything that they are feeling or the anger that they are feeling or the pain and frustration. They are not saying. They are not saying it. And that is causing this person to feel very defeated and feel more angry in regards to the situation. Someone here is feeling very maltreated in this situation emotionally. Hmm. Why is the three of ones here? We have the ten of swords. Someone is trying really hard not to close up this cycle. Still holding on. Still hanging in there. Trying really hard not to let this go. Mm. We have the lovers. Making a head over heart decision here. Could be with a Gemini. Why is the page of sword here for Libra? We have the justice here. There could be a court case involved here for some of you. Mm -hmm. I see someone here um, trying to weigh their option, trying to do what is right in the situation. What is the right thing to do? I see that this is your energy, Libra. This is your energy. What do I do in this situation? What is the right thing to do? Is it right for me to continue holding on to this? Is it right for me to continue holding on to what this relationship used to be? Is it right for me um, to continue investing in this situation or should I just let go? You are at that point. I see some, some of you will be trying to make do of some kind of information that you have in regards to this person. Some of you could find out something. Mm hmm And I see some of you will be confronting this person. I see. Someone here could be watching you, Libra. I feel the energy strongly. They could be watching you or you could be watching them. Either them trying to get little, little information about you or you trying to get information about this person. I feel both ways energy. So if this is not you doing this, it could be your person. Why is the high priestess here? We have the king of wands. Someone is seeing someone in secret here. This person is beginning to feel like they are an option here. Feeling like they are being used for sex. Or they are just an option to this person. Capricorn energy, Pisces energy coming through. Why is it so here? 
Or Libra. There's going to be a fresh start after an ending here. Light at the end of the tunnel, a new beginning after a time of conflict. So the number standing out here is number five. So you might want to check that out. The number five is the number of change that is about to happen here. And this change, it's not going to be um it's not going to be a very pleasant change for some of you, but it's going to at the end of it all. It's going to bring about peace of mind and happiness for you. This change is going to cause you or force you to make some kind of decision. That is going to bring you some peace of mind at the end of it all. Mm -hmm. All right, Libra. Thank you guys for your love and support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel. I'll see you in my next video. Personal reading, personal guidance information for that is in the description box.